This is John Paul Rye. I'm coming to you from Tokyo, Japan, and today I'm going to talk about a guy named John Campia. Now, you might have heard his name in the news concerning Death vs. Heard a couple of weeks ago or a month ago because he just came out and said, Death fans don't know the case, they're basically trolls, and they need the facts. He didn't really say much more than that, but just recently he put on an hour and 20 minute stream about how Johnny Depp is going to lose the case. Now, fortunately for us, he doesn't know any of the facts or doesn't care to acknowledge the facts whatsoever. For example, he mentions the UK case, but he fails to mention all the facts as to why Johnny should have won the case, why Johnny should have had his evidence presented, and why Judge Nickel made such a bum judgment. The other thing he starts off by saying is, What's cancel culture? I don't know what cancel culture is. So Johnny Depp recently came out against cancel culture and John Campia has to come out and say, well, there's no clear definition of what cancel culture is and actually it's really simple. And I'll admit for a while, I didn't have a clear definition of what it was, but here it is. Cancel culture is when you get canceled for doing nothing wrong. I'll say it again, it's real simple. Cancel culture is when you get canceled for doing nothing wrong. Cancel culture is not when you cancel someone for doing something wrong. Cancel culture is not when a bunch of people just start disliking someone and they just stop watching them. Cancel culture happens when you get canceled for doing nothing wrong. For example, Luke Skywalker in the Star Wars franchise pretty much got canceled out of his heroic role because He's a man, and they couldn't have a man in the role anymore. So he got canceled for doing nothing wrong. Now that's a fictional example. Johnny Depp is a great shining example, ironically, of someone who got canceled for doing nothing wrong. Johnny Depp didn't abuse Amber Heard. She had no evidence, yet Johnny got canceled. So that's cancel culture. And the other thing about John is, you know, he's a shell. Now some people following Depp vs. Heard on the general audience might not exactly know what a shill is. What a shill is, is somebody who takes the side of the biggest corporations and the narrative that's actually getting around the mainstream media. For example, the narrative right now is neutral or against Johnny in the mainstream. You don't see mainstream outlets like Fox, CNN, PBS, Deadline, Screen Rant, really going hardcore saying Amber Heard is the abuser based on this evidence. So what John does is he takes the side of the corporations and the mainstream, not to mention the side of Warner Brothers. So basically, if Warner Brothers was on Johnny Depp's side and Amber was thrown out of Aquaman 2, well, then you could bet your ass that John Campia would have a stream. Amber Heard is a unique case of a woman who was an abuser. This is why Johnny Depp's gonna win. And he'll just take the side of whoever is on the top because people like John wanna have a bigger platform and they wanna have their own show at some point. So they wanna make sure when the corporations are watching, when Warner Bros is watching, when the big mainstream people are watching, he's on the right side. He also has to be on the right side of the political correctness. And the reason is he someday wants to get picked up by one of these people and say, hey John, why don't you quit YouTube and why don't you come work for us? You've been shilling so hard and you've been on our side for so long, you're a good guy we'd like to work with. Now, he's not gonna get that call, that's probably not gonna happen, but that's his goal. Now, if you take another YouTuber who's around the same size as him, let's say that umbrella guy who everybody knows, if you're following Johnny, he doesn't take the side of who the media says is right and who the corporations say are right because he's trying to put his own opinion out there and he's trying to be his own person. Now, John, on one hand, is just putting his own content out there, but he does have these hopes that he will be noticed. And that's what a shill is. They've got the hopes that the content they're putting out will be noticed by the uppers, the corporations, and the mainstreamers. He goes on for a really long time about how Johnny lost the UK case and that not only Nickel said that Johnny should have lost, but two other judges said that too. 
He also goes on about how Johnny Depp lost the appeal and that if he can't win the UK case, then he's not going to be able to win the case in Virginia because, you know, Johnny had a different burden of proof in the UK. He said that Johnny didn't even have to prove that Amber Heard was lying and he still couldn't win. Well, wait a minute. He's going to prove that in Virginia. In Virginia, it's going to be a little different. Now, honestly, he made an okay point about defamation. It wasn't all, you know, one stream of bullshit, but it was just a very general talk that isn't going to pertain to every single case, and it's not going to pertain to a case where there's so much evidence against somebody. So, the other thing he puts out there is that the statement had to have been made to a third party. Now, I would say, I'm no lawyer, but I would say the third party was the Washington Post. The Washington Post are the people who Amber Heard told. So I'm not seeing how that's not a third party. But John does know Canadian law, which he claims, and I don't know any law, so who knows? Maybe John's right about that. Maybe I'm missing something. He also makes this ridiculous story about how if he said his friend humped the donkey, it would be similar to Amber Heard saying she was abused in the media by Johnny Depp. It's really not funny. It's very cringy. I tried to laugh, but it was creepy. And the friend he was talking about was another shill who actually got caught admitting he's a shill. It was really big news in the Star Wars fandom. So that just added on to the creepiness of everything. So I just wanted to give you guys an idea who John Campia was, he is definitely one of the bigger media shows out there who will only take the side of the corporations, with the exception, once in a while, if a judgment call is just so obvious that if he doesn't make it, he looks like a complete idiot, like the Rise of Skywalker just wasn't that good, he made that call, that was great. If he didn't, he would be going against everybody, not only the mainstream, so once in a while, he makes the right call, but for the most part, he sticks to the safe road, he sticks to the corporate narrative, he sticks to the mainstream narrative. I've been doing videos here for three years. I've got around 1,100 videos now. Within my first 15 or 20 videos, I had a video about John Campia. And after that, I reported on him, I don't know, at least once every two weeks or something like that. He blocked me on Twitter. I made a video, you know, he blocked me because I'm in the community of people who doesn't like Disney Star Wars, and I guess he got fed up with some of us, and I got blocked. Whatever. He ended up quitting Twitter. Anyway, I might follow this up with more of his details because this was kind of a rant. I didn't really get into counterpoints to his exact arguments. Like I said, he had a few okay legal points, but they didn't seem to connect with Depp vs. Heard very much. And, you know, he doesn't mention any evidence that Johnny has, almost as if he was working for the mainstream, almost as if he was Warner Brothers trying to put out some false narrative. So without mentioning Johnny's evidence, it's really hard to break down the facts of the case and give an accurate prediction. Lastly, I will say, due to cancel culture, unfortunately, Johnny might not win this case. It might not be winnable. Something might get to it. Some people on the inside might be scared of the narrative if they find him innocent, that they will be attacked for being sexist and misogynist and against women or something like that. So yeah, he might actually get it right, but not for the reasons that he's saying he's getting it right. I'm doing shout outs, special thanks, things like that. If you're not subscribed here, consider it. Let's do some shout outs. Shout out to Eve, she's a member here. I owed her a shout out from the last video, I forgot. Shout out to Carla Ellis, shout out to Diamond Knight, shout out to Jam Price. Gotta get some more shout outs, there's a few. Also shout out to Max Entertainment. Thank you sir for the support. And that's it, we're done. If you don't subscribe here, well I guess I'll be sad. But I'll get over it, see you next time.